Assalamu alaikum student. Today we will learn unit number 5 maps. Lesson number 1. What is a plan? In this lesson we will learn what is a plan? What does a key tells you? What are symbols? A plan is a drawing of something as seen from above. For example, this is a drawing of a car, this is the side view of car and this is the front view of car. And this is the plan view. Why this is a plan view? Because as we can see this drawing from above. And a plan is a drawing of something as seen from above. So this is the plan view of a car. A plan is a type of map. As we know that plan is a drawing seen from above. So let's see how the office desk looks like when we see it from above. This is the office desk consisting of desktop, spectacles, notebooks, calculator, notes, lamp, pencil, and the officer. So all of these things together make a complete drawing of office desk. This is how an office desk looks like. Now visualizing or viewing from above the whole scenario will look like a map, isn't it? A plan is a drawing, sketch or outline to show how something works. A plan shows the relationship between the part of a whole drawing. As you can see, in this drawing, all these things make a relationship to make, to give you a look of office desk. Let's see what are symbols. Symbols are small drawings or small pictures that stands for different features on a map. In this map, you can see small pictures. A symbol is often drawn to look like what it represents. As you can see, this symbol represents a home. As its shape is made, looks like a home. For example, a triangle is often used to denote a mountain. When we made maps, in maps, the mountain will be shown by the symbol of Triangle. The triangle symbol always represents a mountain. Let's see the Virgilla map. In this map, all of these are small drawings and all of these small drawings are called symbols. Now what this symbol represents? This symbol represents home. These are the homes in Virgilla map. This yellow symbol represents school. This symbol represents trees. This symbol represents aeroplane, that is point. This uh, symbol represents a lake. There is a lake. This. This symbol represents hospital. And this symbol represents a road. Where is a road on the Virgilla map? Yes, this is the road. So this symbol represents a road. So what are symbols? Symbols are the small pictures that stands for different features on a map. These are the different features that these contain homes, trees, school, hospitals lake and road all of these are the features of a map of which map wordsvilla map so all of these small drawings are called symbols what does a key tells you a key tells you what the drawings are a map legend or key is a visual explanation 
of symbols used on a map. It typically includes a sample of each symbol and a short description of what the symbol means. Symbol along with its short description symbols along with its short description is called key. These are all called symbols. But the symbols along with the small short description note made a key. Now this symbol will become a map key. Why? Because it includes a symbol along with its description. In this map this symbol represents bridge. Where is the bridge? This is the bridge. And this symbol represents capital city. The dirt road is represented by the dotted symbol. The lake is represented by this sign. Mountains are represented by this symbol. Okay, the railroad is represented by this symbol. Where are the railroads? These are the railroads. And the river is represented by this sign. This is the river. Road is represented by this gray horizontal bar. This. Let's see one more example. This is the park map. In this park map, the keys, uh, what are the keys? The tree, this symbol represents a tree and this symbol along with its description made it a key. So how many keys are there? Tree key, bench, the slide key, seesaw, sandbox, swings, Flower garden, duck pond, and path. There is path. This is the path. So, the symbols are the small drawings, and symbol along with the short description made it a key. Let's start the homework. Do this homework in your notebook only. This is the figure number one. It contains roads, lake. These are the keys. This is the map, which is consisting of roads, house, school, lake, post office, shop, park, and mosque. Now, what you have to do? Answer these questions about map on page. On which road is the school? Let's find out. Where is the school? Let's see it from the key. This is the school key. This is the school key. Let's find out this key in this map. Where is this key? Where is the symbol? Yes, there is a symbol. On which word the symbol? We will look the symbol. So on which road is school? School road. How many shops on Multan Road? Where is Multan Road? Where is the road? Okay, this is the road. And where is Multan Road? Oh, yes. This is the Multan Road. How many shops are on Multan Road? Let's see the symbol of shops in key. Yes, this is the symbol of shop. Add it to a short description shop. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There's a total of 5 shops on Multan Road. On which road is the mosque? This is the mosque. It is on which road? The Khan Road. Where is the park? This is the park. On which road? It is also on the Khan Road. Where is the post office? Let's see from the key, from the map key, how the post office symbol looks like. 
the post office symbol looks like this square red square let's find out the red square in this figure one this is the red square so where is the post office post office is on road multan road okay class this is all for now thank you class